Hey, how you doing? Bayou Golf on the porch after a day at Beaver Creek, a very cold and windy day. But it was a good round because you know why? I planned ahead. Not, not my game. I mean, I've got my swing. I've got my game. But I thought about the equipment. You see, it's, it, it was it was 40, I think, yeah, it was 40 degrees with a wind chill factor of about 36, okay, because of the uh, nine mile, you know, wind constant all day today. So what does that do? That changes our equipment. And, okay, let's talk about the ball. Now, the optimal temperature of a golf ball is 70 to 90 degrees. That's when it works its best, okay? Now, I was, I was playing today at 40 degrees. Now, I'm, what, 30 degrees below 70. Okay. Every 10 degrees that you're under 70 on the cold months, you lose anywhere between 3 to 5 yards. Now, I consider for me, I lost 5 yards. So, I lost 15 yards before I even hit the ball. Okay, so what did I do? I, I found in, in my collection of golf balls a uh, low compression Titleist uh, Tour Soft. Very good ball. Now, see, I, I normally don't play with that. I mean, I have them. Uh, I normally play with a Pro V1. I like the Pro V1 when it's warm, okay? Okay, it's, it's a higher compression ball. But you got to think ahead in the winter time, okay? If you can play, um, look, you guys up there in the north, it goes out to you. It does go out to you. I mean, I know you're trying. You're going to your simulators and other ways to stay in the game, and uh, like I said, it goes out to you. But down here in the south, if you're playing, think about your equipment, a low compression ball. Like I said, you lose yardage, 15 yards before you even hit the ball. So I, I, had, I had my ball. Now you, you're the club selection, all right? What I did today, for instance, if I was 150 yards out, normally that's my seven iron. So what I did, I took two extra clubs. So that turned into my five iron. That was a great combination. The true Titleist True Soft, low compression ball, two extra clubs, spot on. I did very well. And also, the um, in, in the vis I was telling you about the Arnold Palmer, I, I was watching the uh, uh, Golf Channel the other night, and they was doing a show about Arnold and the way he putted. I said, okay, you know, I was struggling a little bit with my putting lately. I mean, they, they just, I was just missing so many, okay? So I said, well, why not? So, I, I mean, I, you know, I did what he was doing. And let me tell you something, folks, and I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Those balls rode, rolled straight. No, no push, no pull. I mean, you, you, you pick a line, you think about it, and I hit, it was done. It's over. I mean, I missed a lot of birdie putts, okay? I got my pars, but I missed a lot of birdie parts. If you're having a trouble with uh, maybe uh, your putting, Go back in time and pick up on the Arnold Palmer way of doing it. You know what? And that's kind of what I learned this week. We don't always have to advance to fix our problems, whatever it is. But in the game of golf, there always might be what we can use. And I use Arnold today, and it paid off. And I was very happy about it. All right, this is Bayou Golf on the porch, chilling out. Yeah, it's still cold. Look, I hope you guys get out and play. And like I said, all you brothers and sisters out there trying to play some golf up north or out in the west or wherever, in the east. Man, I, it goes out to you, all right? But those who can get out, have a good game. Work on your swing. Find your swing. Make this year the year of focus. Think about your protocols. And just learn your swing, like I said.
be comfortable, be confident, and have good contact.